way into my humble home. What are you doing all the way out here, you naughty little thing? I'm dangerous, you know. You might get turned into a mouse, for real. I'm sorry, I'm only kidding, you silly thing. You have nothing to fear from me. You are in good hands, don't you worry. Shh, 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 shh. Mm -mm. let's not talk business just yet, cutie. Let's have a nice little chat first. Would you care for some tea? Mm, uh, chamomile? Mm, lovely. Here. Now, tell me your name. Oh, how sweet it suits you. My name is Nasaji. I'm what you might call a witch. But then again, I'm sure that you already knew that, didn't you? Oh, you expected me to live in a dark, damp cottage full of toads and spiders? Oh no, sweetie. With modern times come modern comforts. Now, oh, so impatient. We'll get to it. But first, I want to get to know you. It's important to know your customers, of course. And I want to satisfy my uh, personal curiosity as well. So, here's another question for you. What? <laughs> What's your astrological sign? Hmm. Yes, that sounds about right. You can learn a lot about a person from their sign, you know. Although, you really need to be a witch in order to get anything useful from it. Those horoscopes you humans come up with a little more than random guessing. Hmm. One more question. What's your favorite color? Oh, you'd be surprised. That's even more useful for determining character than your sign. Really? Huh. Unexpected, but I like it. Well, I think I'm getting a clearer picture of what you are really like, my dear. You seem like somebody... I'd want to do business with. So let's talk. Why have you come all the way out here to find me? Oh, darling. <laughs> A love potion. Mm, how juicy. <laughs> okay, so tell me. Why do you want a love potion? 
Well, I mean, obviously, it's to make someone fall in love with you. But why exactly does a catch like you need a potion to help? Surely your natural charms are enough. <sighs> How sad. Unrequited love is such a tragic thing. Still, I, uh... <laughs> I really don't know why you actually need magical help for this um, sort of thing. A cutie like you want to be able to win anybody over if you really, really put your mind to it. Well, <laughs> they're lost, I say. You need somebody with such bizarre tastes. You could have a new romance blossoming before the week is out. Uh, <laughs> my poor, silly, sweet thing. You can't believe all those stories about a one true love. I mean, <laughs> how sad would that be? If you only had one shot at love. Mm -mm. If you couldn't find them or they didn't give you a chance, it, it would be all over. Forever. No. No. There are all sorts of people who would make you very happy. Still... I do guess if you're really that set on it, I can brew you up a love potion. But remember, I do so under protest. Someday you'll find out just how much of a love machine you really are. <laughs> and this is just going to postpone that, that day. Well, tell me, tell me a little bit more about this love interest of yours. Any idea about their tastes or their hobbies, etc. Anything that can give me a clue about what they're into. Well... Generic love potions can work out all right, but it's much, much more effective if you um, personalize it a little. If you don't, there's a good chance that it's too weak to make a difference in their feelings. You could increase the dosage, yes, but they'd probably move straight past the love and become psychopathically obsessed with you. Trust me, it's not as fun as it sounds. Hmm. Alright. Oh, that's, um, interesting. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Mm hmm Okay, that, um, that should be enough information. I think I can make something uh, effective with this. Alright, let me uh, just have a look. Out here. Hmm. Yeah. Ah, I love drawers. Yes. Okay, I already have everything I need. No need for an ingredient run. Thank goodness, that's always tedious. Alright, so, first off we need a cauldron full of boiling water. Lucky for you, I have one ready. I was just about to make myself some dinner. 
but that can wait until after. Then we add some main drag root, like so, to form the base of the potion. Main drag root helps ingredients infuse into the body in ways they otherwise cannot. It's the difference between a potion and a um, particularly disgusting soup. <laughs> hmm. Next should be some condensed willow the wisp that will inflame the subject's passions. Let's see here, like so. But of course, hidden passion is uh, useless if it's not directed at the right person. Would you mind uh, plucking a hair off of your own head? Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. That will ensure that your love doesn't run off with someone else instead. That would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Here we go. Hmm. What? Is that what humans think go into potions? Wing of a bat and eye of a newt. <laughs> now that's just silly. What good would those do? Oh, but eye of salamander. Now that could be useful. And based on what you told me about them, that would help them get the impression that you have traits they're looking for in a partner. Mm. Here we go. Now let's see what else. Maybe powder laughter. Good for ensuring they always enjoy the time they spend with you. Yeah, down here. Here we go. Oh. And, um, <laughs> red cap mushroom. Honestly, that's just for flavor. When it comes to potions, you have to take any improvement in taste you can get. And I have some right here. Now, let me just give this a good stir. Oh, and while I'm doing that, I should probably tell you um, how to use the potion. So, love potions are especially potent. So you can apply them in lots of different ways. Putting it in their drink is the preferred method, of course. But if you need to get creative, there are few other options. Rubbing it into the skin could work. I <laughs> I can't picture a single scenario, although, where that's easier than slipping it into a drink. Mm, you could even have them inhale the fumes, although you'd need long-term exposure for the full effect. The most important thing, of course, is to make sure that you only give it to the intended recipient. Undoing a love potion is even more difficult than making one. So, if you give it to the wrong person, you may be stuck with them. <laughs> oh, and never, ever drink it yourself. Loving yourself is great and all, but being infatuated with yourself is a whole different story. It's even more complicated to undo 
and you actually wouldn't think you want it to undo it. So take my advice and don't use identical cups if you're going to drink with them. I can't tell you how many people forget which one the potion is actually in. Also, mm, be wary of side effects. Without a full psychological evaluation of your love interest, I had to do a little guesswork. If they seem mm, a little bit obsessed, then come back to me immediately. I can make a booster to tweak their behavior. And um, keep in mind, if you get cold feet, you need to get an antidote for them before you break up. The uh, point of a love potion is to make it so that they love you and no one else. It would be incredibly irresponsible to leave them and not cure their love sickness. Well, yes, that is what a love potion is for, isn't it? That's what you wanted, right? If you want to give them a choice in the matter, then you just woo them yourself. Mm, I have to agree that a love potion isn't necessarily the most ethical. The hope is that you plan on taking care of them better than someone else would, and so better off. Speaking of, that's something a love potion can't do for you. They will love you no matter what, but they can still be unhappy. You need to put in the effort to make the relationship work. They won't leave you, even if they could be happier if they did. So, you would better be willing to really work hard for them. Okay? <laughs> You're right. Maybe it would have been better mm, to go over that before I got started. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a little disorganized. You can still back out if you want to. All right, fine, then just make sure you use it responsibly. And there, hm. look at that, all finished. Now I just need to bottle it. Let me see. I know I have something down here. The bottom shelves. Oh, here. And up we go. <laughs> Already. Oh, I... I know it looks like a lot. But... You know, most of the liquid in this cauldron wouldn't be uh, good for much aside from a weak aphrodisiac. The true love potion is um, concentrated at the very top. Part of the trick of making a potent love potion is skimming it off the top without watering it down. And um, <laughs> there we are. One love potion, all ready to go. Oh, <laughs> no, mm -mm. 
You don't need to worry about payment. I don't charge cuties like you. I want you to feel free to come by as often as you'd like. You can visit for any reason at all. Oceans, spells, a cup of tea and conversation. I'd be happy to have you over whenever you want. Oh, but uh, do you think about what I told you? You really don't need that potion. It's like using a crutch when you have two perfectly healthy legs. If uh, you have a change of heart, you can return that potion, and I will give you something nice in exchange. Now, until next time, sweetie. Mm-hmm.